let them know how I really feel, the things that I have seen, the things that I have felt. I looked up slowly. I saw a thing that I have never seen. I saw a light and asked myself, can that be? Was it real or was it a dream? I didn't know, but hopefully it will come to me. Our Cassie had an engaging laugh, beautiful long blonde hair, clear blue eyes, and a big warm smile that she generously shared. Her loves were music, snowboarding with her brother Chris, photography, travel, and youth group. She dreamed of bringing new life into this world. Although her dreams of ushering in new life tragically ended, her stand continues to encourage many to seek new life through Christ. Stephen, at 14, was a quiet, thoughtful, generous, and forgiving young man. Steve loved reading, watching adventure movies, and playing soccer. Steve wanted to pursue his dream of becoming a naval aviator. We love you. Dad, Mom, and Nancy. Corey was a person that you would want to spend time with. He loved to talk and could have long conversations on the subjects he was passionate about. With his sense of humor, Corey could have a whole room laughing. Corey had just turned 17 and was excited about his future. He was working at a golf course to save up for his first car. Corey looked forward to becoming a husband and a father and sharing his faith with his children. Corey cherished his family, his friends, and his life. In these moments of reflection, we will see the kindness in your eyes, hear your sweet chuckles of laughter, and feel the love for others in your heart. Never forgotten will be the moment when you were listening to music, watching a football game, and working on your algebra. When questioned about the distractions, using your Forrest Gump voice, you replied, I have a 4.0, and that is all I'm going to say about that. I am with you always. Matthew twenty eight twenty. Seven o'clock p.m. April nineteenth, nineteen ninety nine. I love you, Dad. I'll see you tomorrow. What will the world miss? So full of questions and wanting to know how things work out. Family was important to you and always included in your life. Just beginning your journey with so much to learn, yet you taught us so much. We miss you. It is not easy to sum up the life of a son and a brother. To his sister Madeline, he will be the brother who was never known, but whose presence will always be felt. We remember Daniel as a boy with a gentle spirit and a shy grin. In the most profound sense, Daniel was one who, despite difficulties, knew the ineffable sweetness of life and it was a part of him. He was just coming into his own. As a child, he liked Davy Crockett, Little League Baseball, and loved the sound of a bouncing basketball. He played basketball and ran cross country in college, then began his career as a business teacher and coach. Remember Dave for how he lived, not how he died. Tell my girls I love them. We love you too. A young man who as a child struggled with developmental delays and learning disabilities. He knew his limitations, yet wanted to be like every other kid. He loved his brother Daniel, the family cats, ice cream, pizza, and riding his bike. He spent his time at home with his family, watching sports with dad and going to the library with mom. Kyle had been a student at Columbine only three months. He was just beginning to really like who he was. The love of God was first in Isaiah's life. He loved sports, playing and joking with his family, and was taught to love others no matter how they treated him. 
He now lives in a beautiful heavenly room filled with light and beauty. He is one of the beautiful flowers God picked for His heavenly garden to shine and to be an everlasting light. Isaiah, we will always miss you. We will always love you. Born September 1st, John Tomlin was a young man with a broad smile and bright eyes. As a kid, he loved cars, baseball, family, and God. As a teen, he added Chevy trucks and the Green Bay Packers to that list. Seven months before his death, he reconnected with God and rediscovered the joy of his faith. That faith sustained John with courage and strength. The one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Just passing by, just coming through, not staying long. I always knew this home I have will never last. I have this theory that if one person can go out of their way to show compassion, then it can start a chain reaction of the same. People will never know how far a little kindness can go. I'm going to have an impact on the world. I won't be labeled as average. When I die, I want to wake up in a field of flowers and see Jesus sitting there smiling, happy to see me, holding my hand. Then I want to kiss his wounds. There is so much more going on here than we realize. I do think humanity is losing touch with itself and their relationship with their surroundings. Unfortunately, it usually takes a huge trauma to get people to realize what is important. I am not afraid of death, for it is only a transition, for in the end all there is, is love.